Namaste or Swagatam. Sare ke sare dost. Or castor par mere Hindustani parivar. Why do we do it? Why do we get married? Because if you really think about it, there is no real necessity for getting married in this day and age. There's no religious requirement, at least in, in Holland. I'm um, there's no church or temple that demands it. There's no legal, no political or societal necessity. But then still, why get married? In an attempt to keep my own sanity over the past few weeks and months, I had to find the answer to this question. And I've come up with three answers that I would like to share with you. In other words, a wedding is your single best excuse to overdose on all the bounties life has to offer. Family, friends, food, wine, dance, laughter, and of course, love. The second reason why I would advocate in favor of weddings is something I already thought before I wrote this, but I witnessed even more than I could imagine over the past days. And that is the beauty of celebrating diversity and the coming together of two cultures. Over the past few days, every time I looked at all of you in your beautiful Indian garments, I realized we could not have been more privileged. As for most of history, this beautiful bringing together of cultures was not possible. Not that many generations ago, and all the generations before that one, this was unheard of. It almost demands of us to take a second and grasp how fortunate we are to live in times of peace and prosperity. A time where this is possible. A time where different cultures are celebrated and where two cultures can come together and admire and applaud our differences. And we should never take this for granted as we live in times where this privilege of admiring and celebrating that what is different from ourselves is yet again under pressure. Uh, here I would like to take a second, um, a special moment to address and thank our parents. Thank you, my Pai. Thank you, Mama and Papa, for making all of this possible. And by that I don't only mean in the logistical sense, but also in the educational, spiritual, and cultural sense. Deepa and I, our cradles could not have been in more different places. The worlds we come from count fewer similarities than dissimilarities. But you raised us to individuals open-minded enough to fall in love across cultures. And that is what I realize is a privilege that should not be taken for granted. And that brings me to the third and most important reason of why I'm in favor of weddings. And that reason is you. I didn't fall in love with you. I walked into love with you. With my eyes wide open. Choosing to take every step along the way. As you once asked me, maybe I do believe in fate and destiny. But I also believe we are only fated to do the things that we choose anyway. And I would choose you. In a hundred lifetimes. In a hundred worlds. In any version of reality. I would find you. And I choose you. And whether that will be enough to carry us through it all, carry us through it, all life will throw at us, I don't know. I honestly don't know. But I sure as hell know that I am as close to sure a man can possibly be when I said the words, I do. You inspire me, and your mere existence has turned me into the best version of myself. I know there's still much to improve upon, that will probably remain work in progress until the very end. With you by my side, I know for a fact that I will never get a day's rest from self-reflection and ultimately self-improvement. Aap se piyar